This SKF training film is about cylindrical roller bearings. The most common cylindrical roller bearing consists of a flanged outer ring, a separating cage and a number of rollers. The floating inner ring completes the bearing. This type of bearing is designed for accommodating high radial loads at high speeds. This bearing is always used in conjunction with an axially locating bearing to ensure the shaft is properly supported. Single row cylindrical roller bearings are made in a number of variations. They can have a floating outer ring or the most common, a floating inner ring type. This design can be supplied with a number of axial locating variations. This film will concentrate on the floating inner ring type. The most common applications for the cylindrical roller bearing are electric motor applications, gearboxes and many other large applications like rolling mills for aluminium foil. These bearings can have up to four sets of rollers per bearing, giving very high radial load capacity and stiffness, but an axially locating bearing is required. Some foil is rolled to less than one hundredths of a millimetre thick, which demands extreme accuracy from the bearings. The SKF fitting toolkit can be used when mounting the inner ring cold. The correct parts are selected from the kit, and before fitting, make sure there's no damage to the shaft and use some light oil to assist the mounting process. An alternative way is using heat to expand the inner ring. This method of mounting is used for medium to large types of cylindrical roller bearings. SKF has a wide range of bearing induction heaters for this purpose. When using heat, do not heat the bearing above 110 degrees centigrade and always use protective gloves. Hold the inner ring against the shaft shoulder until the ring cools and grips the shaft. The second part of the process of mounting the bearing is fitting the outer ring assembly onto the shaft. To prevent fitting damage to the inner ring, a guide sleeve is used to position the rollers during the process. Oscillation or rotation of the outer ring will assist the fitting process, as will the use of oil. This is normally a sliding fit and is easily accomplished. After removing the guide sleeve, the bearing is secured onto the shaft by means of a lock nut. For the dismounting of cylindrical roller bearings, a hot and cold method is available. For cold dismounting, remove the lock nut with the correct lock nut spanner. After removing the outer ring, a jaw puller can be used to remove the tightly fitted inner ring. On this occasion, the bearing shaft has been pre-machined to accommodate the puller arms. By heating a special aluminium clamping ring using an SKF hot plate, Damage-free removal of the tight-fitted inner ring can be achieved. The transfer of the heat from the aluminium ring expands the bearing inner ring, so ensuring a simple removal without damaging the shaft. On very large inner rings, an SKF special induction heater can be used for both mounting and dismounting. Make sure not to damage the inner ring during the mounting process. A damaged inner ring will reduce the bearing life. To avoid damage, 
use an inner ring guide sleeve.